Hi Cancer, welcome to your January 2021 Spirit Messages. I am Charlene Lizette. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're returning, a massive thank you to you for being a part of our High Vibe community. This may resonate with you if you have Sun, Moon, Rising, and Cancer. As always, I do need to give gratitude and adoration to my great Queen, the Morgan, to whom all my work is devoted to. All right, let's see what's going on. So a couple things to note. Um... I'm just trying to see if there's something coming. Like, can I, you guys, this has been a consistent, like a consistent thing with you. And I, I, I need, I need to connect with you all. Like you need to message me, leave me comments in the videos. I keep seeing the color red. So behind me, you can't see it. I have a, like a makeshift, um, a uh, little altar because I can't put candles in here. I almost burnt this thing down once, side note. Um, and then I got like crystals there and then I got my candles there and I keep everything I'm looking at red, 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 red. And I'm not feeling like it's an anger red. I'm feeling like it's like a, a passion red, okay? A passion red. Um, like you're so passionate about something and you're... Um, you're not, I don't want to say that you're not thinking correctly. Um, and I don't want to use lust. What is this? Oh, okay. Uh, it's just, it's very, um, like very romantic, you know, and this is a January reading, but I feel like this has something to do with February for you. Uh, like Valentine's, it's just fit like very like I'm seeing hearts, I'm seeing candles, I'm seeing ro I'm seeing romance. I see romance, and um, it's like you're you're ready to embark on this journey, whether you're in a relationship or not. This is more of like, okay, I'm ready to embrace love in all aspects of my life. And so there, there's a question that comes into your mind where you're like, okay, where where maybe like in the past was I? completely like refusing to love right where was i not wanting to crack myself open to that so let's take a look and see we're going to pull out five cards from rebecca campbell's work with your light and then five from um moon child to row so you got awakening no star mother and transformation i'll go into depth in a little bit here but i you know, I need to know if some of you, and I don't want to use the word player, but like some of you are just notoriously single, very particular about your partners, um, very much like completely comfortable and confident um, in, um, in just being alone. Uh, and, and so, like, if I'm looking at this, so you got Lemuria creating heaven on earth, it's happening, okay? And then you got get grounded, but, like, pink, 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 pink. This, this deck doesn't have any red, so it would be unfair for me to be like, oh, look at all this red, because this deck has no red. Um, I think this deck might have a little bit, but it's also very pastel -y. But I'm just seeing red everywhere. So what I'm doing now is I'm recommending a crystal that you all can hold or a gemstone. Um, and I would turn around and say a garnet or a red tiger eye. Um, my garnet's over there, so I'm not going to go get it. And I have red tiger eye in here. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't have enough garnet in here. So that's red tiger eye. It's very beautiful. Very much like sacral solar plexus. Maybe like you're healing the aspect of yourself. They're saying don't take those. Okay, can I get the five, please, to verify? Okay, the tower and the page of pentacles. Yeah, so something, something's crumbled or crumbling in January for you around your sacral chakra. That is sex. It is pleasure. <laughs> it is desire. Okay. Um... It is, um, like, don't, so, so, sorry, I'm just going to say this because this message is coming through. If you are single, okay, and you happen to meet somebody, um, you might want to with every part of your, like, body to, like, just, like, pounce on. Take it slow. Take it easy. Take it slow. Um, there are still things that you're getting to know you know, get to know them first. Like, and for those of you that are in relationships, there's still things that you, you, you're getting to know. It's not to say that this is not going to work out. It's just like, 
you don't want to jump in with two feet. Um, without knowing all the information, where do you want my transformation? The magician. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I see where this is going. You want these two here? Okay. Oh, yeah. That's the ace and the three. Mm-hmm. Of cups. I'm I, I just feel a lot of emotion around you. It makes sense. I mean, you are, you are cancer, the nine of pentacles. Yeah. So, uh, let's see here what's happening. Let's get the other two. That's too many. I can't do that. Can I just get one for awakening and one for no, please? Tell me what's going on here. It's almost like you're ready for love. Six of cups. Don't go to the past. Okay, don't do whatever you do, Cancer. Listen to me. Sorry, that was my chair. If a past relationship, a past partner, or somebody that you've known from your past comes to you and is like, I want a second chance. I want this. I want that. Like, whatever, whatever. No not no thank you no that that's a very clear message here i feel like we don't even need to dive into that just no because because it's that fiery passion remember i said like don't jump it's that fiery passion of you going oh well like i know the past okay what do i'm gonna do here they're saying put this away and oh, oh because there's so many here got it the ten of wands the six of wands and the seven of cups yeah okay all right, now we understand. So, uh, it's like a cat. Ow. So, reason why this came through and the sacral is because you're going to be looking very flawless, very desirable. Uh, people are going to want to lust after you, okay? Um, this isn't so much you lusting after people as people lusting after you, but you have your eyes set on somebody. You're checking somebody out. It's, it's almost like you're like, you know, a little kitty before you make your, you know, before you pounce. And you're, uh, because you're, you because you're so attractive at this time, um, you know, when we attract, yeah, we can attract like high vibrational, like amazing hot people, but just because they're good looking doesn't mean that they're good for us, right? So this month for you very much so is a transformative month, a month where you learn about yourself and the way that you carry yourself in relationships. And these relationships don't just have to be like romantic relationships. These relationships can be like your family, your friends, etc. I do get this energy that you have, and I mean, you're a cancer, so you're a crab. It's very natural for you to go inside, especially if you're like a sun um, cancer, to go inside with that crab and to like block, right? And so what's happening this month is you are are actually um, recognizing that there has to be a certain amount of vulnerability in order to attract right um, and so while you're working on your own transformation and while you're figuring out you know what kind of partner do I want what kind of relationship do I want how am I going to show up in my relationships um, you know what matters to me now I feel like 2020 was a big year for you where you learned maybe that some of the superficiality behind the attractions that you had before um weren't aren't in alignment with you anymore um not because you're not attracted to beautiful people anymore um but simply because you have evolved and you have expanded in your mind space and so you're like yes obviously i want somebody who i'm going to be physically attracted to but maybe i don't want somebody who's like fake or like uh, superficial right like it's almost like you're going back to basics back to natural beauty and and you yourself are an extremely attractive and extremely beautiful individual and so what's wrong raven do you hear her crying come here you can come on the table if you want come on come here. so if you want like if you really want to attract somebody that's going to be in alignment and high vibrational where you can have that passion and keep looking at a red candle like i don't know if some of you are doing candle magic or thinking about it or wanting to attract um but there's like this this passion that you like you're ready you're ready if you're single you are so ready for a relationship and i don't think you have been ready for a very long time not that like opportunities haven't come to you it's just more of you're picky you're meticulous you um you know you know what you want you know what you don't want so now that you have are cracking this open and you're going through this transformation of like, okay, now I'm ready to step out into like the limelight and start dating again. However, having said that, I'm still going through my transformation of like understanding myself, right? Because transformations don't happen in 24 hours. You're starting to attract both good people and like not so good people. 
So the first card you got is awakening, energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration, okay? Um, and I feel like this reading's all over the place, but that's how I feel like your energy is right now. Like, you're all over the place. Like, I want this, but I don't want this. I want this, but I don't want this. Um, also, go, going back to that sacral chakra and the crystal, um, just make sure that, uh, you know, if the past, in the past, you would have sex, like, whatever, with whomever, whenever, whatever. Um, like, you don't, know, like, don't do that now, right? Like, save yourself. Whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter. Just save yourself. Because this is why you're going through this awakening. You're, you're going through energetic upgrades, a new way of being, an integration. You're like like learning and evolving and experiencing something completely different in the way that you view things. And it's beautiful because now you get the opportunity to put these ten, of, 10 wands down. It's a burden that you've carried for a long time, maybe because you haven't found somebody that um, fit, you know, your, what, what you desire in a partner. And now you're realizing that maybe in the beginning, you didn't even know what you desired in a partner, period. And now you're finally figuring it out. So naturally, as you're evolving, as you're going through these energetic upgrades, you're looking fly as fuck and you're looking so juicy and so delightful, um, especially like for you males out there, like I am, you're just, you're scrumptious. <laughs> you are scrumptious right now. And like even for the females as well and the non-binaries, like you're all, you're just, you got this vibe to you, right? Like the six of wands vibe, like you've gone through adversity, you've gone through this awakening, awakenings are not easy, energetic upgrades are not easy, um, you know, they're tears, a lot of stuff. And now what's happening here is, you know, you look good, right? So you're vibrating at a different frequency. You look good. You feel good. And you're just, you're just in that jam. And so you get these options. Seven of, seven of cups. So that was a six of ones, by the way. Um, so what happens is, is, like I said, not all these options are going to be good for you. And that is why the next card is no, wait, postpone, pause, say no, and the six of cups. The Six of Cups in this card talks a little bit more about the Akashic Records, um, but uh, I'll pair it alongside the Snow card. I am just getting like, no to the past. No, to the, There's a reason why those people are in the past, okay? Now you're looking lucrative. Now you're looking juicy and scrumptious. And so obviously the past wants to come and be like, hey, can we rekindle? Like, no, no. There's a reason why it didn't work out last time, okay? You are vibrating at a different frequency and this person just wants to suck you up because they see it's like a leech like a leech gross disgusting i hate it anyways so star mother how can you mother yourself alongside the ace of cups and the three of cups okay so a couple of things here one a lot of self-love for you okay you gotta give yourself a lot of self-love okay you just went through something very transformational and you're going to be experiencing it for the month of january so taking care of yourself loving yourself self-care whatever that looks like i know gyms are closed here in toronto which sucks but whatever going for runs working out at home uh eating healthy sleeping resting you know doing the stuff down in the sacral chakra area um all that stuff djing and i don't know like the other thing, Palmola for the men. Um, doing all that stuff like is all about like getting into your energy, into your vibe, right? And I love that the star mother, how can you mother yourself, comes alongside the ace of cups and the three of cups because what you're doing by loving yourself is you're emitting that energy of like, I love myself. So anybody who's going to step up to me, anybody who's going to be worth an opportunity for me today and for me to potentially have a long-term relationship with needs to love me as much as I love myself. And they need to love themselves too. Like you're not going to be dating no insecure weirdos. Okay. Do you want to come up? See, she's crying. Hold on. Come on. Come on. What? Okay, then don't. I'm not playing with you right now. It's almost bedtime. Crazy. So for some of you, I do get this energy that you are manifesting um, somebody, uh, a very good somebody for you, a very delightful somebody for you. Uh, for others of you, I feel like you might meet them um, or you might see them somehow, social media, whatever, grocery store, whatever. Uh, okay, come on then. But you can't do that. Don't scratch me. Oh my God, you just hit your head. Are you okay? You psycho. Come on. Oh. <laughs> What are, you, what are you doing? Are you okay? Um, so I think what will happen is you'll meet them and you, you're just going to have like this like influx of emotions and that's where that red that I was seeing was coming from where you're just going to be like, oh my God. Um, you know, just make sure you're not wearing jogging pants if you're a boy, okay? Um, uh, you know, because um, you're just, it's, it's going to be one of those where you're like, yum um 
right? Is it gonna be a yummy? I love you too. Um, and you're gonna start talking to your friends. This is the three of cups. You're gonna start talking to your friends and you're just gonna be like, yo, you won't believe it. Um, what? Yeah, like no more of this. I love that that it made me do that. Oh, okay. Um, you're gonna be like, no, like I, I think I met somebody. I think I found somebody. Oh my God, like, you know, I can't believe that this person crossed my path. I haven't seen anybody like that in such a long time, yada, yada, yada. And, um, and you're just like, you're going to be giddy. You're going to be up in your feelings about this situation. Aren't they? Aren't they? Is cancer going to be up in their feelings? Because here you are midway through the month, towards the end of the month, transforming your energy and manifesting with the magician. Okay. This high vibrational, incredible, beautiful, romantic relationship. Like, this is not a fling. This is somebody that you're manifesting that's going to spend the rest of your, like, you guys are going to be together forever. Two peas in a pod, you know? Who you, They're going to understand your quirks. You're going to understand theirs. It's just going to be a really solid relationship. And maybe it's not the relationship that you thought it was going to be, right? Like, maybe before you were into, like, I don't know, superficial shit, like shopping, clothes, whatever. But this person that you meet isn't like that. Um, and you're still going to be, like, it's like magnets, two magnets. And so the last card you get, and yours is like the longest reading I've done so far, get grounded, empaths, highly sensitive, connect with nature, nine of pentacles is while you're still single, okay, this is definitely for a lot of you that are single, um, while you're still single, it's really important for you to get grounded. Because if you don't ground yourself, if you don't practice getting grounded, because you are such an empath, you're a water sign naturally, if you don't go out and hug a tree, if you don't go bare feet in the house, if you don't uh, practice rooting yourself, if you don't do meditations, if you don't do like water baths um, to like cleanse you and root you, um, what will happen is these options will like start all mumbling together and you'll be like oh i try to manifest this amazing one but then the x is back and then this one's here and this one's there and so being able to get grounded being able to get rooted um being able to celebrate you in your divinity whether you're a divine masculine or divine feminine it doesn't matter um and whether like while you're like relishing in who you become and who you are becoming in the year of 2021 you got to get yourself grounded and connect with nature so that you don't um uh, attract those lower vibrational like love opportunities all right cancer that is your reading thank you so much for sticking by if you're interested in a private reading or shopping my gemstone crystal jewelry check it out in the description box below that's how you can book with me or purchase i'm wearing maloho and bologna here and aphrodite and venus here i do male female and unisex on the site and what else is there yeah thanks for your likes your comments your shares your subscribes your donations i appreciate all of you and we'll see you on the next one bye see you later alligators